So let's see this exercise. Exercise 9.7, page 223. Okay, you are given this composite component and you are required to determine what is the value of i, x, x. Okay, and the mass of the road is given in terms of 0 0.9 kg per meter and the width is 20 kg per meter squared. So you have to calculate what is the exact for each road and this to be used in the equation. Okay, so the first one. Okay, the first thing is to be to separate and identify the simple components. So you have to make sure that you know how many simple common components that you have in this composite component. So this one you can identify. Maybe you can use three components. This is A B. C, this is D, CD, and the BIS. Okay, so we use uh, equation for composite body which is IXX equal to IXX. Now we have three components AB plus IXX of CD plus I x x of this. Okay, we have three simple components. Okay, that we know what is the value of I, the equation we already memorized the equation. Okay, and when we have to use uh, I A A equation of parallel axis equation, I A A equal to I D G plus N D squared, we have to know the mass of each component. Now we have three components, so you have to calculate the mass of each component. So, go to the first one. And let's say we put it here. M A B so equal to 0 0.9. The length of the component is 0 0.1. Here is 0 0.1, so 0 0.1, 0 0.1, so 0 point, 0 0.3 equal to. Here is M CD 0 0.9 the length is 0 point so is given equal to and then the last one is M of this equal to so we have to know it is in terms of meter squared so you have to know the surface of this so pi pi r squared 0 0.1 squared, it is only half circle, so half times 20 kilogram. Okay, so 0 0.9 times 0.3, we have 0 0.27. Okay, put it here 0 0.27 kilo. Then this one is 0.2 times 0.9, 0 0.18, 0 0.18, and the last one is 5 times 0.1 squared. <sighs> What we do is we will calculate the i for each and every component. We start by the first one, i a a, i x x in a b. So i x x a b. We will use the parallel axis theorem, which is equal to i d g plus n m d squared. Okay. So now what we do is we will follow this one. Draw two d, put the component g and measure the 
measure the D. So now we want to have I in X direction. So you are looking at from this point. Okay, so when I draw the 2D, I will have one. This one is Y. Right in the middle here is the X X. The other part is the X. Okay, now I will put the component. So when I put the component, you see the AB. The first one is AB from X direction, the AB is Okay, so the length is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 component, A, B. Okay, and then you want to measure the D, which is from D. So you have to put the D. This is 0 0.3, so D must be here, right in the middle of here, 0 0.15. Is the, I put also here as D. Okay, now you have the D, and then you want to measure the D, which is from XX to D. So this is the D from X to D. So this is the D. Go to how much? Okay. So you can measure the D. So let's say we measure this one. This is 0. Point, this must be 0. 0.05. This is 0. 0.2. Okay, so D for the first one. D A B equal to square root of 1 squared plus 0. 0.2 squared then D for the first one. Okay, 0 0.05 squared plus 1, 2 squared square root of everything, 0 0.206. Okay, so the D, this is the D, A, B, D, 0 0.206. Okay, so from this equation, what we see? From this direction is we see the see the road. Okay, so here we see okay see the see the road. So I D G when we see this one the road will be M S squared divided by M S squared divided by twice. Okay, so the equation here will be I X X equal to because we see the road so it is M S squared divided by by twice. Okay, plus M D Okay, now you want to put all the information inside. The M is 0 0.27, L is 0 0.3 squared divided by 12 plus M 0 0.7 D. D is 0 0.6 squared. Okay. And top this one, you will have the, the first part. 0 0.3 squared equal to times 0 0.27 equal to divided by 12 equal to plus 0 0.27 0 0.206 squared 0 0.0 1 3 4 so now you solve the first one, put it here, equal to 0 0.01348 plus the second one. Okay, so you go one by one. So you go to the second one, 